Hey, good night, everyone, and welcome to our group coaching session for tonight. And tonight we're going to be focusing on websites. We got a bunch of websites in for everybody. Uh, they all look great, uh, but hopefully Lizzie and I are going to be able to uh, help you kind of go down a, a road that'll make you make some improvements. You know, show show people what's what's going well with some of these sites and use those as good examples. But also show you some things where you can make some minor changes that you know can make some big big changes on the on the far side. So I think with that, we'll go ahead and get started. So I'm Chad Mendel, editor of equestrianprofessional.com, and I have with me Elizabeth McMillan, editor and founder of Equestrian Professional. Um, so we both have some pretty extensive background, not only in the horse industry, but also in online um, publishing and, and online marketing. So we kind of know where you guys are. Uh, we both own or do own our own horse businesses. So we, we know what, what you're trying to get at with, with these sites and we, we have some some uh, some tips for you to kind of make them a little bit better. Um, anything you wanna to add to that, Lizzie? Just hi everybody and we're glad you're on the call. Thanks so, for sending out so many websites. We hope we'll get through them all. <laughs> so tonight's pretty informal. Um, you know, as we go along, if you guys have questions, you know, make sure you jump, uh, drop them into the, the text box. It should be right there on your right hand side of the screen. And we'll answer those as we go along. We don't really have a, uh, you know, a strict presentation tonight, but we're just going to kind of go through the sites that you've submitted to us beforehand um, and just kind of point out some things that where we think uh, we can make some improvements and also point out some things that you guys are doing really well. Uh, I think with that, I might just pass over to Lizzie, and she can start with um, this site right here. And if anybody's having trouble okay. seeing or hearing, you know, make sure you obviously throw that in into the comments section as well, so we know that we can fix that right away. Okay, great. So um, I really like this site. There's a couple reasons why. There's some things that I think you're really doing right. Um, I love that you have a really clear value proposition right on the front page there and um, it's very welcoming and easy, it's just, it's just super clear. Um, the things that I think would help you to, um, and I think it's, this is an excellent start, um, I think I also really like the Meet Us page. Chad, can you click on that real quick? And it's just, bear with us, you guys, because when we're doing live screencasting, it just takes a minute for everything to catch up. And so we'll mostly be staying on your front page, but I do want to um, do our best to kind of show you a few other things. All right, are we seeing that yet? Okay, that's right, yeah. This was one where you were going to be adding pictures, and I think that's going to make a big difference. There is another site that, um, ha that we will be reviewing that has a really excellent About Us section, and so hopefully you can get a few tips from that. The other thing I would say is that we encourage, and you will hear this over and over again with most of the websites, we encourage all of you to create what's called an opt-in box. So essentially it's a place where somebody can enter their information and you would send them something. Maybe it's a price list, maybe it's um, if you were running a kid's farm, maybe a, color, you know, a coloring book or a how-to, something like that. Because basically we like to encourage everybody who has a website to have a way of collecting the contact information of the people who visit your website. Because that enables you to follow up and it enables you to build a relationship with people who could potentially down the road become your customers. Because usually people don't just visit a website once and then become a customer. So that's all I'm going to say about this one because I know we have a lot to, to move on to. And I know, Chad, you had a couple comments about this one, I think. Sure, absolutely. And we'll go to the next. Yep. You know, you know, overall, I think the site design is, is very nice, very clean. You know, I, I like this large photo at the top that, you know, kind of draws people in. Um, you know, the one thing I want to really point out, especially on this one, is this font right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see me highlighting it yet, but um, this cursive style font is very, very hard to read, especially online. Um, you know, and you got to remember when people are online, they're, they're skimming, they're reading very quickly, they're trying to find the information that they're looking for. So any type of stuff like this that, that's going to be on your, on your site somewhere, it's going to slow them down. Um, and it may even cause them either to skip over it, where, which means it's not doing you any good to begin with, or just, you know, ignore it totally or, or, you know, jump off your site, you know, just because of that. You know, luckily the site doesn't have a whole lot of it. Um, 
but again, you know, save this more for your logos. Um, you know, back when we were on that the Meet Us page, you could see that it looks like all the the headers are, are in this type of font, uh, and it's not a hard fix. You know, especially for you know, a site that's built on a content management system, or you know, there's some type of a framework to it. You can go in there and change the, that heading font in there. So it's pretty simple to do it that way. Uh, color wise, I think this uh, has got some nice colors to it. Um, I, I like the size of the, the font on the page itself. So it's good size font. It's not too tiny to read, uh, even though it's kind of not a whole lot of contrast between the background and, and the, uh, the font itself. It's still pretty easy to read because the size is big enough. So, you know, good, good job on that. Um, I think this one's okay. Yep. Um, as far as we'll talk about titles, like page titles and things like that going as we go along a little bit more, but it looks like yours is okay. Um, as far as having some keywords in there. Um, I like that you're incorporating some videos uh, of, of your, um, I'm assuming this is of your place here, um, on the site as well. You know, it might be nice to have a little bit more, uh, some images on there to really kind of show off your place a little bit more. Uh, it seems pretty text heavy. You know, again, when people are online, they're they're searching fast, they're looking. So you want something that's going to be drawing their eyes in and, and really, you know, showing off, you know, show off your place, show off what you're doing, show off what, um, what your business is about. And photos are a great way to do that. You know, I said, you know, the, the video on the other page was great. Um, may even showcase that a little bit larger. Um, on on the website as well, uh, but again, you can see, especially you, know, you can see it even more so on this page. You know how that gets a little bit hard to read up in here. Um, uh, sorry, I was looking at the questions down there, uh, but yeah, it can get a little hard to read. However, I will I will interject that I think that I, of the text that I that I read, and I'm not going to pretend that I read amply every bit of everybody's <laughs> website because we wouldn't be able to review as many mm -hmm. if we did that. But overall, I would say your text on this site is pr pretty darn clean, and there's not a lot of it that I would remove. I agree with Chad about just maybe a few more pictures, but your your text for the most part is is really it's not it's not super text heavy. I just think it, it I agree it could use a few more pictures. Yeah, exactly. You know, and that just breaks up, you know, uh, it's no different than in print. You know, we always try, you know, when we're laying out a magazine or, or even uh, any type of a print format, we always say that, that within a dollar bill's length, you want to have something that breaks up that, that the content in there, whether it's a headline or a image or something like that. And the same is true for, um, for websites. You know, people are scanning quickly. You want something that's going to draw their eyes in and bring them to that point there. Um, and Kim, Kim makes a point that she says, you know, people who wear glasses are sometimes going to have a hard time reading, you know, especially with those colors, uh, kind of very close colors instead of having more contrast between there. You know, so you know, I don't know if I go full white, but maybe even just lightening up uh, the text on here what could make a big, bigger difference on there. Uh, you know, you get too much white text on a page, on a dark background, and that's hard to read as well, too. So there may be a happy medium in there for, for this one. But overall, really good site.